is the swing keel the same as a center board and a lifting keel? Today we're going to talk about just that and I'll give you a quick spoiler. They're not exactly the same, but there are a lot of overlaps and I'm going to show you with, uh, I think I'll just draw a little diagram for you to show it. So this video is part of a larger series about sailboat keels and last week I released another video explaining the most common keel types and if you want to see that video I recommend you see that one first up here. Andy Lipsberg he pointed out quite fairly that I didn't really go into depth on swing keels. He specifically asked about the handling and there are some handling issues and pros and cons that are not quite what you think. So stick around and I'll tell you exactly what those are. I also wanted to give a quick disclaimer. There are some websites on the internet that say that uh, the swinging keel, like the centerboard design on the cable, is actually a daggerboard, and that's wrong. It's a centerboard. Also, in the last video, I called the canting keel a swing keel, and there are loads of people that call a canting keel a swing keel. The canting keel moves from side to side while the swing keel, the center board design and the swing keel moves from front to aft uh, along the center line of the boat, hence the name center board. So let's start off with building a solid foundation. What exactly is a swing keel? A swing keel is a keel type that is retractable through a slot in the hull. So it's on a on a hinge in a way and it pivots and there are multiple mechanisms to lower and raise the keel and they can be either weighted or unweighted but the most common is unweighted and this is called the center board so I found that there are two main lifting keels the center board and those are on smaller boats fishing boats like the Cornish crabber I once sailed and I remember to lower that one I had to place my feet over the countertop over the table and place them against the wall of the, the cabin and then ease off a line and then tie it around the cleat which is a rather primitive mechanism and then there are swing keels and those use a hydraulic strut to lower end and raise the keel so those are a bit more complex and I'll talk a little bit more about the exact mechanism later on and those are weighted so those carry ballast and those can be very heavy so they can go over 5,000 kilograms like five tons which is insane which is like a regular like a cast iron keel and uh, the the main advantage of weighted keels over the centerboard design which is just like a board like a, a very lightweight daggerboard style like a fin without any weight to it it's that is that the weighted keel will ride the boat a lot more so it will be a lot better at countering heel but both will reduce slippage quite considerably when we think of it the swing keel which is the weighted one it is a lot more involved it has a lot more uh, mechanics to it so it's a bit more vulnerable but it's it, it, it really comes close to a regular fin with the main difference that you can lower and, and raise it so you can adapt the draft to your own will at command let's say so if you decide you need to go into shallow water you just raise that thing using a winch and you can go straight ahead and if you find yourself in a storm you lower it and you improve your stability considerably it also means it um, it shares a lot of properties with the fin queue and if you don't know what a fin queue is I really recommend going to the the main guide, the, the sailboat keel types explained, which will go into depth on fin keels. But very, very briefly, it's just a fixed keel and it's just a simple fin with weight in it and that runs pretty deep. So it's you have quite a deep draft and the swing keel is like a variant to the fin keel with the main exception that it it is pivotable so it swings across the center line of the boat aft and you can retract it fully in most cases so what about those properties well 
When we look at fin keels, those are very agile, very fast, and the swing keel shares a lot of those properties. So it's as fast, it's as maneuverable, maybe it's even more maneuverable because you can hoist that thing and then uh, get it in and out of slips really easy. So it gives you control over the amount of wetted surface so you can lower resistance, but it also decreases directional stability. So if you want a good amount of stability and, and reduce slippage to leeward, you lower the swing cue fully. And because there's a quite a bit of ballast in it, it will provide a good track. The center board, on the other hand, is a lot lighter, but it still will provide a quite a, a stable directional track. However, it won't reduce heel as much, and of course, slippage will be a bit more as well, since there is less wetted surface. So that's more, that's closer to the ordinary fin design. So it's just a blade sticking out, and the swing keel has a mostly a bulb tip with additional ballast in it. So both are fast, but it's important to notice that both are also, they can be pretty choppy, pretty uncomfortable. So like the FinQ, whenever you find yourself in heavy chop, they can get quite shaky. It's not as stable and comfortable as a full Q. If you like sailing fundamentals like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out and it flatters my ego. Ego? Ego. It flatters my ego. So click subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you consider liking this video, if you liked it, otherwise. So let's quickly go through the pros and cons of the swing keel and the center board. And those overlap greatly. And I think the most important one is you can reduce draft so you have a lot more access. It's very versatile. You can enter shallows more easily. And whenever you run aground, you, get, you can free yourself very easily because you just you just retract the keel, you're flat on your belly, and you're off to go. Also, if you run aground head on, so you sail into uh, a sandbank, let's say, a swinging keel will actually uh, absorb a lot of, of the impact uh, energy. So the chances of a, a swing keel breaking off when running aground are less than with a fixed skill, obviously. So that's another great advantage. Um, the cool thing about swing keels and center boards as well, although a little, a little bit less, the swing keels allow you to both be equipped for inland waters like rivers and lakes, but also have a good blue water cruiser, especially with weighted swing keels. So they allow you to, for example, cross the North Sea or go on to the Wadersee. So if you're in an area like me with loads of lakes, inland waters, the Isselmeer, which is pretty deep, it, it used to be the Zuiderzee, a sea. That's until we put a large dam in front, or dike in front, the Afslide dike in front of it. Well, that's for another time, that story. But if you're in an area like me, it's great to get in and out of inland waters and quickly get on the ocean. And whenever you find yourself in troubled waters, you lower that thing fully and you're pretty stable. Because this keel has a smaller wetter surface than, for example, the full keel, you have a lot better upwind performance, for example. So the swing keel and the centerboard as well provide great upwind performance, which can come in quite handy when uh, doing difficult navigational uh, passages like inland waters or lakes, uh, or something like that, what I say, with a lot, lots of shallows. So you're very agile and also you can reduce the draft quite quickly if you find yourself in need to. A, a big advantage most people don't really consider is that because you have a shoal draft, you can get closer to shore, so you can get prime seats and you can get to lots of places that other boats can't reach. This means a couple of things. You can get first class seats, on the beach, you can beach the boat as well in tidal waters. You can get into moorings and harbors and docking places that others can't reach. So you, you have loads more picks 
uh, to alternative mooring locations, which can save you loads of money also. That's uh, an important one as well. So if you are going to hop around in, let's say the Mediterranean, this is a great way to get around and get to all those premium spots others can't really get to. So with all these advantages, why isn't everybody running a swing keel or a center board? Well, there are some disadvantages as well. So the most important one is that it requires loads more maintenance because of all the mechanisms involved. So the pivoting point can actually get become stiff over time and the older swing keels can also become quite noisy as all the parts get a little bit more play over time. The most important one to check is your lift cable in case of a centerboard for example uh, even with uh, smaller weighted keels they can use just a simple lifting cable and those can they are known to just snap off and what happens is uh, your your keel swings down if the 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 bolts of the pivoting point the hinge are loose already the keel can snap off and you could lose your keel potentially and it will sink down to the bottom of the ocean and you won't ever see it again. So that's something to be wary of. Uh, some owner's manuals actually require or ask you to inspect and check the tension of the keel bolts before each and every sail, which is a lot of checking and maintenance if you ask me. So the Cornish Crabber we used to sail, we didn't do it on that. Also, if it snaps off, you're kind of screwed. So are you considering a swing keel or a full keel or a wing keel? Let me know in the comments. And if you want an overview of all the keels, remember to check out my full guide on sailboat keels, which will show you cool diagrams and walk you through the most common keel types. So go check it out by clicking on the video on the screen.